All set for the second ODI here at the Mirpur Sher Bangla National Cricket Stadium. And Nigar Sultana Jyoti, the Bangladesh captain, who's going to toss the coin. Tails. Tails is the call. <laughs> All right, so Bangladesh uh, have won the toss and decided to bat first. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming you all from Mirpur Sher Bangla National Cricket Stadium in Dhaka with the first ball of the match without scoring a run. So that's the first runs for Bangladesh in this match. Oh! Pace from one end, spin from the other. Slip remains. And that's the first wicket for the Australian side. Taken properly, we'll get to know, no doubt. That there are barely any. They look up to them. But by no means, you know, you also want to. Bowling tight lines and lengths. This time, going over the top. Is that a chance? Yes, it is. And that just took the outside part of the bat. Farzana trying to clear the infield. What Bangladesh can boast and how much it can challenge. The Australians. Now that's straight to the fielder. So let's have a look at the replay. Once again outside the off stump. We saw a few plays and misses in the previous over. This time she connects but goes straight to the backward point. They haven't really found a way against the constant threat. Oh, now that looks close. And the finger is raised. So Nigar Sultana Jyoti, she has to walk. The umpire deeming it to be on the money. Now, there's no question about the line. Perhaps height, Shajat. Now that's an opportunity to score and finally dragged down. It was short down the leg side. It's 84 wickets in total. And finally some runs. That two off the outside edge. Now will that race away to the boundary? Will we see our first boundary of the day off the bat? No, we won't. Excellent effort there. Now that's played beautifully over the top. That was well connected from Fahima Khatun and that was a convincing boundary from her bat. Finally, Bangladesh getting a move on. Sweeps, a slog sweep, does the trick for Ritu Moni and it will be a much needed four for the Bangladesh team. Flatter goes for the sweep here again. Fielder underneath it, gets the wicket. Doing what she does on a routine basis now, taking catches, putting those dives, scoring runs. Score some runs, not under scoreboard pressure, it's in the air, sky that. Two fielders converging, square leg comes running in and takes the catch. Very good at tennis. Can the sweep and appeal but probably missing. Every game is important, even though Bangladesh loses this game, still long way to go. But down the track now that's not been timed at all and could be another catch and it is Sharna Akhtar departs. Oh, outside edge. Oh now the outside edge was induced but unfortunately it beats first slip and fortunately for Bangladesh it goes all the way for a boundary. Bangladesh have been trying to use their feet, the Bangladesh players, they've been trying to get to the pitch of the ball. On this occasion, it was short. Well, for the second consecutive time. Oh, now that looks close. And the finger goes up. Flighted once again. Played with softer hands into the leg side for a single. I think that will help the outfield. And I think it's gotten better in the last few overs. And she also finishes her overs very quickly. Now down the track, finally using her feet, but now that could be very tight. Coming around the wicket, making the angle difficult. 
out of all the players was uh, particularly very very sure this will tell us yes the back foot crosses the line inside out played it well dug it well will be a rare boundary from the youngster yes it will win the race finally if your tail ender can play a shot like that it should give you a sense of what the batting lineup can do off georgia wareham and this time around edged flies between the keeper and first slip beth mooney will it trace away for another boundary now that's a shot that's a brilliant shot through the covers maruf akhtar wheels her willow gets four shot but straight to the fielder absolutely the fielder was neither so we get of nahida eventually the top scorer in this uh, first innings so bangladesh all out in the 45th over once again using her feet into the gap beautifully driven by lichfield once again going down the wicket oh just out of reach it was marufa during the bangladesh innings i think it was molly new as confirmed by her fellow comment bit of a confusion yes or no direct hit it is a direct hit appeal looks like she's gone she lost her bat seems like her bat was stuck onto the ground shamunnay she's already making that long walk and she has to go for five and she goes for five in this one reverse swept and hit it beautifully towards the shorter part of the ground again now this time it's not timed properly there is a fielder underneath it and what a catch there is a bit of cloud cover right now it's getting quite dark here at the home of cricket in bangladesh rabia now coming around the wicket again there might be an opportunity and it's dropped good captaincy from nigar sultana jyoti but unfortunately for bangladesh oh now that's an opportunity and she stumped beth mooney they're 39 for 2 now 3 the use of so the pitch is starting to play a few tricks and sultana knows it she's pitching it up again pitched up but this time it's driven beautifully wonderfully done by talia magra four runs short ball pulled away and it goes for a boundary losing some early wickets pierce the gap played it off the back foot crunched it square of the wicket on the offside imagine they were somewhere around 140 150 just 40 to 50 more runs and this happened imagine the amount of pressure the aussies would be on now she's coming back for the second this is good running direct hit yes jyoti the captain with the direct hit will see the better of the better who was determined that she will come back for the second but what a throw from the bangladesh captain nigar sultana jyoti getting rid of the gloves quickly collects it good awareness and direct hit gone maybe ricochet you didn't intend it but still a goal and you still come out the winner that's what top sides do and that's what how the bangla oh outside edge just whiskers away from that fielder in the slip cotton good balance good balance from shorna well ba will make bangladesh wonder if san bars shamunnoy if san bars story continues the story of ifs and but and finally a valiant effort from the fielder but in vain they started to use their feet a lot later again we see another example perian gardner both of them dealing with the spin very well 
down the ground. Now there is an opportunity, perhaps. No, it just lands between both the fielders. And two more runs added. Elise Perry on strike. Eventually the winning runs come off a misfield from Sharna and her own bowling. Keep in mind all the games will be played here in Mirpur, the home of cricket in Bangladesh. And after the third ODI, there will be three more T20Is.